Now, um, I would like to begin my intervention by congratulating the World Academy of Art of Science, the World University Consortium, and the National School of for Political and Administrative Studies uh, for the decision to organize the fifth edition of the Conference of the Future of Education, uh, especially now. Uh, why now, you may ask yourselves. Uh, because I find uh, that at the moment, uh, the world needs uh, to focus uh, all the more on uh, its future and not uh, dwell, uh, dwell um, on its uh, troubled present. As um, we are gathering uh, today uh, online to debate the future of education, the world is facing a new variant um, of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, Omicron. Uh, although the name uh, sounds like uh, the newest invention in the field of technology, uh, Omicron, uh, in fact, um, is said to be uh, spinning around the symptoms of the common cold and uh, transforming it um, into something which is uh, for now very much um, feared. Uh, as countries uh, entering again uh, the red zone uh, and facing more and more uh, restrictions, the World Academy of Art of Science um, in a joint effort with the World University Consortium and the National School of Political and Administrative Studies at gathering the worldwide scientists uh, to discuss uh, topics related to the challenges of the 21st century for students, uh, innovative uh, delivery systems that uh, could help improve uh, the interaction within uh, the educational field, human security and the culture of peace, uh, values, ethics, and their social impact, uh, the engagement of creativity in the development of sustainable education, uh, gender balance and gender promotion in education and many other uh, hot topics. I congratulate you once again for the impressive choice of the topics and uh, the wide range of specialists put together for this uh, event. And um, I do it uh, wholeheartedly as an educator myself in full belief uh, that the future can only be constructed and achieved according to our desires and ideas only if based on education. Education has uh, multiple roles. Firstly, it needs to provide an endow uh, with knowledge. Secondly, it needs to explore the mind of the student and identify his assets and work to better consolidate them. Uh, thirdly, it needs to create networks between people and their minds. Fourthly, it needs to enhance people's ideas and uh, uh, thoughts and help them uh, turn into reality. Quite a handful for education itself, but uh, the handful can be achieved provided that the proper partnership between students and education is achieved. I would like to take this opportunity to extend an advice uh, for the following days on debate. The topics of the conference focus on education and its resources. I would like to ask you to take a moment and ponder on a very valuable human resource, the educator itself. We um, often think of students, um, handbooks, uh, teaching methods and evaluations, uh, and we leave the educator behind when, uh, in fact, the educator needs to, to receive as much attention as uh, the others, and even more. Because what is a good teaching method 
in the absence of the good educator who knows how to implement it. Now uh, that countries uh, such as Great Britain have transformed the school into a computerized company, uh, completely vanishing the professor from the educational activity, I urge you to think of enhancing the role of the educators. It is here that I would like to tell you a, a story. One of uh, our uh, renewed writers, uh, Mikhail Sadovanu, wrote a story about his former teacher, uh, Mr. Trandafir. In English, the name uh, would be translated as uh, Mr. Rose, with, uh, which uh, would add even more kindness and beauty to the character of the man in questions. But um, I'd uh, rather to go uh, with the Romanian version. Uh, Mr. Trandafir was a teacher of the three uh, as reading, writing, and arithmetic in the Romanian countryside. These were uh, done rather well, um, as um, Sadovanu points in the short story. But uh, he adds that the most important teaching was another one, the one dedicated to one's soul. When uh, he was teaching uh, children, heroic poetry. Mr. Trandafir would, uh, would speak loud and clear and raise his eyes in pride. When he read them um, stories from national writers, um, uh, he would keep uh, the book close to his heart. Uh, look around to answer their quietness and then proceed with a story. He did all this as uh, Sadovano would say, not because he was employed to do that, but because he was good and uh, kind-hearted just as an apostle. Mr. Trandafir was not a nationalist nor romantic at heart. What Sadovano points in fact uh, is his dedication passion for the mission he was entrusted with and the uh, love for the students he worked with. To be clear, Mr. Trandafir was a, a 19th century teacher, somewhere rural and underdeveloped uh, Romania who had to work with limited results, but still educate. The difference stems uh, from the dedication and commitment spoused by Mr. Trandafir, who knew how to approach his students and make sure that at uh, the end of primary school, his students will have a basic knowledge, but most importantly, also a set of values that would uh, guide them throughout their entire life. I strongly believe that we need to look for the Mr. Trandafir in the educator of the 21st century. This is why I urge you to think of this uh, when approaching challenges of innovation in teaching. This cannot be possible without gifted individuals who would look uh, at students as the human beings they are in charge of molding. And uh, this is valid not just for primary students, but also high school and university students. It is high time we took a moment and focused also on educators, not just on students. We need to pay attention to who is becoming 
an educator and uh, what reasons. We uh, then need to invest in that person, make sure that he or she has access to the best resources in the field and is uh, afterwards helped to further give this learning to his or her students. A good educator focuses on both knowledge and values. As knowledge is nothing without values. Kindness, fairness, solidarity, and friendship are some of the values that Mr. Trandapir would teach. Today's educators need to approach this at the same time as they speak about grammar, arithmetic, uh, and spelling. During uh, the pandemic, educators were left behind. And everyone focused on the lack of education on account of the restrictions. But just as students and parents, many, many educators face fears, frustrations anxiety, and even the disease itself. Today, uh, as it seems uh, that we are entering a new phase of the pandemic with a new variant, I urge you to think of the future that uh, lies ahead for the educators as well, and not just for the students. All of us today, as a product of great educators, people who have taught us knowledge as well as have shaped, shaped our characters and personalities. Let us not deprive our children and grandchildren of the same beneficial treatment. Thank you.